I'm Giuseppe. Lovely to meet you. Shizlene Aishev is a career-driven mother. But today, she's part of a human library, on loan for an hour to a stranger for a conversation about her life and to answer any questions the stranger has. The human books in this library share one thing in common. They've all experienced racism. This little lady came up and spat on me and said, go back to where you came from. But like the shock was so big that I did not even react, did not even realize that I had been spat on. When I was at uni, when I had just arrived in Australia, one of my lecturers asked me, is English your second language? And I was like, yeah, it's my second language. Then the next thing is, she would explain everything to the whole class, then turn to me and say, shares are what I mean is. The human library concept started in Denmark more than 20 years ago as a way to challenge stereotypes and prejudice through dialogue. And this group of Bunbury residents hopes to use it to reduce racism. Sri Lankan migrant Shamara Williams has lived here for more than three decades. She was motivated to try the concept in Bunbury because she believes a conversation can make a big difference. You're sharing a part of yourself that you might not usually share. If it helps the person listening to understand a little bit more and then to take it out there into the community, it's, it's a wonderful concept. The plan is to have more of these in Bunbury. And Shamara encourages other communities around Australia to do the same thing. I think it's important to keep these conversations intimate, to allow people to open up and actually share what's really in their heart and to be authentic and honest and raw even. Embracing positive change, one conversation at a time. Tanushi Dyes, ABC News, Bunbury.